Hey everybody, I'm Russo and I do a little work here and there. You are watching Rack and Tear Weekly, where every week I show you some of the stuff that I'm working on. Last week we took a look at a big guy and an apothecary for a Skaven team. Now we're going to look at the little guy. This is going to be pretty low impact, so just stay along for the ride. All of these come out of the Warhammer Fantasy Skaven Plague Monk Regiment box. And I will get into how I differentiate between the different positions. But first I'm going to recap how I'm painting these guys up to what I guess is sort of tabletop standard. You know how it goes. Now, I got a lot of these guys and I want to paint them pretty quick. Step one, black base coat. Step two, just about as easy, not quite as easy, a white dry brush over the entire model, just whatever's easiest to reach. Just don't overdo it and make sure your brush is dry. Some good advice. Step three, we're gonna start to put some color on, but we're gonna start at the bottom with the rat man's fur in this case. And I'm just going with uh, brown, and I did my best to cover any area that was going to be fur or leather or anything like that. If you need to put another coat, go ahead, but you probably don't need to. On to step four, we're painting sort of yellow ochre into both the areas we want to be yellow and metallic gold. Both of those colors would be hard to apply otherwise. This will just give them a nice base. And hey, speak of the devil, Step five, I guess it is. Opaque yellow for the cloth and metallic gold for anything that's supposed to be metal. This isn't too tough, but these colors are pretty thin, so again, you might want to apply a second coat of each. It's up to you. Of course, the more coats you add now, the more shadow and detail work you're gonna have to do later, so pick your battles. Step six, seven, eight, who knows? I painted in all of the red areas, and I've also started picking out some extra details. You know, nails, the whites of the eyes, it's really nothing special right now. So, you know, that's how that's done. Let's talk about positions. This is what a linebacker is going to look like. And the main distinguishing feature is that there is a hood covering their heads. No eye holes, none of that. Of course, I guess I'll mention now, all of these arms are just arms that had weapons and the weapons have been cut out of the hands. Also, on varying body types, either they've got this triangle on their belt or they've got the uh, two ropes with little triangles at the ends. Next up we have the throwers, which I guess are really only notable because they don't have hoods at all. Um, the other one has half of a skull head. That's kind of a neat thing. Still, we'll move on. Probably my favorite are the gutter runners. They look like linebackers, except they are covered in spikes. Again, pretty cool. And last but not least are the blitzers, who again look like the linemen, except they have eye holes. Eye holes. Very important. Coincidentally, the throwers and blitzers have the same chest pieces. Try to keep everything pretty unique, but what are you gonna do? And there you have it, our little guys. They're all suited up and color-coded and ready to spread the plague, like a good rat man does. That's all the time I have for today. You've been watching Russo Works. This is Rack and Tear Weekly, and I am Russo.